Hello, Tracy. Hello, Adam. Um, after deep thoughts and reflection, I decided I have to terminate you from Island Bar effective immediately. Total bull I'm just confused. Oh, let's all gather in a little circle. Hell no. How you go fire the people on the lower level? Go start from your top first. Tell your top people if they the manager, why the kitchen ain't clean? Teach your staff what to do. Kevin, could you order a pizza? Oh, excuse me. Is it possible to make me a pizza? I'll be more than happy to make you a pizza. Can you tell them it's going to be like an hour? There's no QoS systems in place. OK, she's walking to the kitchen. Where are we? This is the roller rink to the right. This rink is clearly not bringing customers to this bar. There's a kitchen. The general rule of thumb, we never go more than 120 feet. There's no way in the world the food lands at the same temperature it left at. It's physically impossible. So you've got a conveyor oven, there it is. OK. And of course, a residential microwave. There's no printer or anything here. Jesse doesn't have the organized way of getting this back and forth. Who's in charge of this? The bartenders apparently go back there and make this stuff and then bring it back. Pizza goes in the conveyor oven. The conveyor is not moving. A conveyor oven like that should not take more than five minutes. No, I'm hating life right now. Really? Because I want to cook all night. I wouldn't want to either. Gwen, stay here. I'm going to wash the floor, and so that way you can run it as soon as it gets done. Oh, I freak the out. I literally hate just standing around. So we must, at this point, be at least 15 minutes or close. How many drinks could she have made in that 20 minutes? Kev, maybe you can ask one of the bartenders what the business patterns are there. Are you full time behind the bar? Four nights a week. When I first started here, it was so busy, you couldn't even walk. What happened? I think that a lot of people don't come to the bar because the meat is outdated. What's the main problem now, do you think? Just lack of structure. That burn. fault. They're still in the kitchen, these girls. Look at the smoke coming out of this oven. That's filth, guys. So this pizza is going to taste like that filth. This is the conveyor from hell. Burn. So that was about 25. Mm -hmm. You tell them to come make their own pizza. Burn. They can come make it themselves. Not the customer, but Jesse. She burnt the pizza. This employee has absolutely no respect for Jesse. Look at the way she displays her attitude and doesn't care about that pizza. Why wouldn't you get a cook to have some Why? consistency? <laughs> this is so crazy to me. To make sure you tell Jesse it's smoking. No. You want to cook? Cook. Drinking behind a bar is one thing, but there's no way for a business to succeed if an owner doesn't have the respect of his employees. Ask him again if they'll make you pizza. Really, no luck on the pizza? There's nothing I can do about it. Stay on the pizza thing right. for me. Is it possible for you to get me a pizza? The kitchen's closed. The kitchen's closed? Because she knows she has to go back there and make yeah. it. If I had one staff member in my restaurant that talked people out of buying food, they'd only be there for an hour. They'd be gone. I went through four or five different people, got four or five different answers. And at the end of the day, all I wanted was a pizza. So let me ask you a question. You have bartenders working for you who, when they go to the kitchen area, pretty much say, him, let him make his own pizza. That's what they said about you. I didn't know that. That's an eye opener. Should they be working here with that attitude? I don't believe they should, but at the same time, John, I'll be honest with you, they grew up here. They're part of the family. Are you running a charity or a business? We're running a business. Because that's charity. Do you know he tried to buy food and they talked him out of it? How bad do you need that money? I got to fill that wallet, John. Why aren't you angry? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, yeah. why wouldn't you say something? Well, you've got to have the courage to defend, to manage. Do what you have to do. Take control of your business, and I will help you, Jess. But if you don't act, I can't. So let's go. Let's see what happens. See you tomorrow. Shut this bar down. Jesse is a charitable heart, but it's time Jesse stick up for himself if the employees don't get an attitude change. Jesse's going to fail. Come on over. Let's, let's talk about what just happened. I didn't hear what happened tonight, but I got to find out who said what. It's not acceptable. If I don't make some changes, John's not going to come back and help me. A lot went down tonight, huh? Yep. I'm embarrassed. I, I don't know if you guys heard what John said, but he told me that I have a problem. I want to ask who, who said let him make his own pizza. I said it. 
I said it back there. No one was around. It's not like I said it in front of a customer. I don't think you would ever say that to my face. I told you there, I'm done cooking. I'm not supposed to have attitude about it. We've known each other for a long time, and I, I would never say that to you. I love you to death, and I've watched you guys grow up and, and around here. Okay. But you have to respect me. If you can't respect, respect me, we can't work together. So what are you saying? I'm saying I'm going to let you go tonight. And I know this no, is hard. You don't know the right. no. And, and if I'm wrong, Ashley. No, done. That was probably one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life, because I've known it for so long. But this isn't personal. Whether it's tonight or two months from now, that's not acceptable. <laughs> that's bull Where is the trash can to empty this There should be a trash can over there. There isn't, and I need one more fry. Wait on one more fry. How long on that fry? What I do is what I do. Perfect, do nothing. Do you guys want to watch you have a problem? Oh, yeah, because I'm about to go the off. You don't want me to go off. Then don't go off. Working back here with Amanda was so stressful, so much going on at once. Communication definitely can go a little smoother. And here we go, guys. Here we go. We got some food coming out over here. I got I got walking around. Where's Cassie? Where's Cassie at? Who the f man? Who the f walks out of the bar? Right. Excuse me, ma'am. We're not working? We make the choice to come out here and not I got you. work? I got you. Who does that? You just walked out in the bar. <laughs> Cassie, are you going around looking for any? Cassie's supposed to be waiting on the tables, and she's not getting there. So now I'm grabbing a pad, and I'm going to go start taking orders so that way we can get everybody served. We're still waiting on the one we just ordered. Oh, I'm so sorry. I've got the vodka rooster. Me too. Ah, two vodka roosters. Very good. Right. So nice. They gave you a napkin? No. no. Gave you silverware? No. Yeah. Amanda. They're sitting here eating with their freaking hands. They have no napkin, no silverware, and people are walking by them like crazy. Guys, we have no POS system. We can't transact. We don't have glasses to put drinks in. Who has seen Amanda and Keith argue before? <laughs> this is a complete freaking failure. Do you agree? Yeah. 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 So, Amanda, you need to apologize to these people. I apologize. This is my failure. I'll see y'all on Saturday when it's right. I promise. Right. Guys, let's get out of here. We have work to do. Thank you. And you can only do so much, but it's hard when you don't have the most competent staff to help you out, too. So we'll have to figure that out as well. Tonight was disastrous. Yes. Things were done wrong. People weren't helped out there, weren't served out there. I served every single table, wrote my tickets down. And then with a bad attitude, you I just go home. I do. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> I don't, was not rude to anybody at all, ever. And then she just told me to go home. I was very nice to everyone. I smiled. I helped everyone out. She's full of I'm pissed. Kyle, why are you failing with the lights? <laughs> All the yep, people. So there. I'm ready to puke. Go sit down somewhere for a moment, please. Okay. Look at that. That's Jen, the bartender. Hold on. Oh, ow. She's completely drunk. She's smashed. She's so fucking hard. I must confess, I've seen bartenders leave a bar drunk. How many of you seen show up to work drunk? She didn't even show up to work. She barely made it through the door. I really f***ed up. That's not something that can happen, man. Russ? Yep. So, Jen, she had some shots. She's currently laying over there. I don't know what he drink was it. Say good, man. Well, um, I guess to haul it out of here. Keep me normal. I was drunk a few drinks ago. Hi, honey. So, are you going to puke? Uh, please don't throw up on me. You can barely stand, man. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, god. I. She is useless. I know. That's a whole other level. Jen. Jen. She OK? Look at me. Oh, wow, this could be serious. Can you open your eyes, please? Whoa. Hold on. 
This behavior is completely unacceptable. You have to stand up. This is a mess. Let's go outside. This is bullshit. Get in the car. This one? Yep. I am extremely frustrated because, you know, I've never seen her do this. We have a lot going on this evening, and I really needed her for tonight. Hi. Hi. Hello. Jen? Hi. Nice to meet you. You look a lot better than you did last night. Yes. Everything just compiled on, then out I went. Pat, what do you think about the staff having a shot before they start work? I would not have allowed it, because you're not going to handle my money while you're drinking. It's just a fluke. It was a matter of, like, I had forgotten to eat. You know it's embarrassing for everyone. If you show up to work again drunk, you deserve to be fired. Hi. Hi. So look at your bar. Take a look at this, guys. Oh, my god. Do you know how many yeah, people have come up to us? and hug me. I haven't been hugged that much in 60 years. Uh, and then tell him in this is spot. As a bright years. No. That's great. Yeah. Well, so, then my work is done, isn't it? No, huh. don't go away, John. So now it's my turn to get a hug. What a great personal joy it must be for Russ to be able to see his bar before he loses his sight. When I got here, Russ was defeated. I think Russ can do this now. I think Tawna can do this with support. Now, Pat needs to step back and give them a chance to rise to the occasion. So yeah. what do you think? What do I think? John Tapper comes in here, turns a place into a palace. Now, there's Adam, and that's the owner right there. Welcome to Island Bar. How you ladies doing? He's the one that bought this place for his family. We got Gerard. Tell me, I want to talk. I want to get these orders out. He's a kitchen manager, and he's also Adam's uncle. There's Tracy. Now let's yeah. take everything towards the back. Why? We got to put them in, man. No, no. Let me get these right here, because we're going to have to carry them in our hand. She's a server, and she's Adam's cousin. Why are you guys so quiet back here? It's Mama Linda. You guys act like we at a funeral. The mom, the uncle, the cousin. Yep. This is truly a family affair. There's another cousin, Kanaz. Oh, I'm sorry. This is Chris. That's Adam, man. This is my big cousin. Mm -hmm. This is my everything. He cooks. We got Cherie behind the bar. She's a bartender. Cherie is Adam's sister. That's Prentice. Gotcha. He's a manager playing pool. During business hours. Yeah. Well, I guess he couldn't fit in the kitchen with the rest of the family, so he must be an outsider. Allison's a bartender. Mm -hmm. So we got a couple people that aren't blood. Okay, so here's the recon John had us sent in. John's recon team arrives at Island Bar and Grill, a 5,000 square foot space with a 40 foot bar, a dance floor, and a staff mostly comprised of the owner's relatives. John really wanted to make sure that we had a local group of guys, but people that have never been to Islands. So this way we get to see a fresh look at how the bartenders treat new people. Hello guys. What's happening ladies? Hands on hips. That's the way you're supposed to go to a table. Mm -hmm. You got micheladas? Who? Micheladas. What the f is that? A beer with tomato juice in it? No. Now what you want? Do you recommend anything? Don't ask me if you're not going to take what I offer. She looks intimidating. She just doesn't look very happy. I'm going to need a drink. I'm hungry. The recon has never been in there, and she's treating him like her cousin. How about a little professionalism? Absolutely. Did you go stick with the onion rings? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to have a I'll take the uh, shrimp and grits. Look at this grease in this fryer, how black it is. OK, 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 OK. If John was here, he would flip the out. I can tell you right now that they're not taking time at the end of the shift to drain that fryer and clean it properly. The hoods are loaded with grease. Stove top is filthy. Obviously, they haven't cleaned this kitchen in a long time. With that many people standing around, you think somebody would have time to change out some grease? Come on, let's get these orders out. No, he told me, they say put them down. Calm your nerves, you. Man, I'm finna go, bro. I got, a, man, I, got I got going on, bro. I'm dead serious. There's a lack of training front and back of the house. Absolutely. What kind of drink was that? Now, this is where I need you to help me she understand. She just served a huge bowl of something blue. Look how big that wow. is. Wow. It's real strong. Just they make it strong. She make it strong. Okay. Like, drink that, dude, you're gonna have to take me home. The biggest thing I learned from John is you want to get them to stay there longer, mm -hmm. and you want them to order more drinks. Mm -hmm. John would be the first one to say, you served that to somebody, they're not ordering a second drink. You've literally lost your sale, and you've got them way too drunk. Grease, grease, they didn't change it. Try the shrimp. Yeah, we got those friends. You guys are not change. happy with this, who we're going to send the back with. Seriously. No, you wait, wait till the waitress comes. Where is she? But you have a table 
of upset gas outside, and she's eating. Seriously, dude? What kind of bull? Yeah, said we had, dude. Have they have a Sunday family meal. Yeah. Okay. You're gonna sit out in the dining room and have a meal in the middle of the shift yes. on what should be a busy going out night. Please go on the back of your Tracy. This is ridiculous. It blows my mind when we come to places like this and they cannot give customer service. Everybody that walks in that door is paying your bills. So are you not eating no chicken? You want to try it. <laughs> that was a pile of lard. That was like a salt shaker. He dumb. He don't know what you're talking about. We're going to have a problem. Then that grits are good. You know what? You don't like your grits? I plead the fifth. What? <laughs> what you just said to me? OK, Tracy is on my list. Not only did she try to convince her table not to send the food back, but she gave him attitude. It's not about you. It's not. Adam. Hello, gentlemen. How are you guys doing? They've been uh, unsatisfied with everything. Dad tastes yeah. like this in the same grease. I apologize. Just, just give me one sec. I'll be right back with you. I see him trying to make good with the customers because he just doesn't know how to fix the problem. They didn't, um, they didn't like any of the food. Huh? They said the grits were a little too bit salty. too salty. I kept my my up for it. I ain't no idiot. I like a up these orders, man. When you bring family into the business that are inexperienced, yeah. then you got yourself just a cluster mess of bodies. Not able bodies, just bodies. I got to go. I'm gone. Nah, we need you to stay. That's Kanaz. They got me doing all this I'm going to work with all the right on my doing nothing. Wait on me to fill up coolers and all that. They supposed to be in there. Nass. I like to cook my when he's all that all day today, man. Then Gerard and Matt back there just, man, teach him how to do this, do that, man. You do that, bro. OK, Gerard is getting on your nerve, but you cannot just walk out like that, Kanae. So all right there are great. Safe. Right. I mean, that, that grease has got changed, so. Just go in the front and chill and get drunk and do what you got to do. Quit running about juice, man. That's all I'm saying. I've been here three and a half years. I know when I come to work, what to do. Powerball. I got everything back there clean. I filled up the coolers. I got everything back there clean? You can't keep walking out, Kanae. Come on, man. I'm not going to keep doing that, bro. that. This is business. Get yes. your ass back in the kitchen while you're at it, clean the fryer. Exactly. Can I get 10 minutes to myself, please? Kanae, Kanae, come on now. Power ball. OK, so the bar is a disaster. I'm very disappointed in what you've seen, and I'm very disappointed in what I see on a regular basis. His kindness, they take it for weakness. And at the end of it, he's getting screwed. Why are they still here? He's too nice. I've been where you are. Let me bring the family in to help me build my business, because I want to help them get a paycheck. And guess who would hurt at the end of the day? Me. And guess what hurt when I had to start cutting them loose? But guess what felt better? When that dead weight was gone. So you got a choice. Throw the keys away, or really get really angry enough that you want to make a change. Can you do this tonight? Yeah. Didn't do it. Got it. Okay. Good luck, guys. I have known for a while that I should have terminated several employees at Island Bar. After deep thought and reflection, decided we have to let you go. This is a life-changing opportunity that was in front of me, and I decided to move forward. I think it's a small first step, but I think it's a beginning step. Kanaz. What's up, bosses? Kanaz, off of the actions today and previous actions, we decided to terminate you from Island Bar. I'm fired again. I'm still going to be film juice. I'll come to work. They come to just push buttons. Oh, go this way. Go that way. Oh, do this. Do that. Let the managers go in and cook and see how they do it. I guarantee if this phone don't ring 700 times, the Lord is not my shepherd. Church, preach on a wench. Tracy. Hello, Tracy. Hello, Adam. Um, after deep thoughts and reflection, I decided I'm have to terminate you from Island Bar effective immediately. Total boy. I'm just confused. Oh, let's all gather in a little circle. Hell no. How you gonna fire the people on the lower level? Go start from your top first. Tell your top people if they the manager why the kitchen ain't clean. Teach your staff what to do. All of this is supposed to be clean. Well, everybody, man, get together. We can break this down and get it done. You know, I'm gonna be back here getting the trenches. Oh, my God. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.